So um, I always love Luna Park as being one of the elements that makes Sydney Harbour with the Opera House, the bridge, the Walsh Bay wharves, the ferries. It's, it's one of the greatest coming together of, of elements that uh, not many cities in the world have. So I always um, thought it'd be terrible if the, if the face went from Luna Park. Um, so I started making etchings and um, 3D things and uh, winding boxes, I call them. And uh, the ghost train was always a favourite of ours because it had a, a beautiful bridge. And the bridge is the front of house look of the thing. And a lot of work had gone in to making the foreshortened trains. The wheels actually went round, had the central um, train with the ghost coming out of the tunnel and he was riding it and rocking from left to right. And it had all destinations <clears throat> like uh, Drittery Junction and um, all, all these wonderful inventive bits to it. And the ghost actually pulled a lever to change, uh, to open the door to let the, the trains through. And um, we always loved the ghost train because of the wonderful bridge it had. And um, uh, the ghost train um, had beautiful little metal carriages, little engines that were green, green and red, and uh, had little funnels on them. And they were, they were beautiful little, little, each carriage was a little engine. Uh, the interior of the ghost train followed a um, 90 degree turns everywhere. It, it was pretty, um, uh, run down uh, finally. The main effect was mirrors lighting up and, and the train coming, like another train's coming towards you and then the light comes on and you see the train coming towards you and the light goes off and it does a quick turn to the right. There, there were things like fake fires just near the end, there were fake fires. Uh, there were um, uh, skeletons. It was pretty, pretty pathetic what happened inside. Here is the, um, the central ghost that rides the central train coming out of the tunnel. And that would go backwards and forwards like that. Everything was a bit homemade down there out of canvas and enamel paint and, and bits and pieces made by craftsmen, of course. And then the other thing is this bit here, which is the, the trains that, whoop, you've got to take a running leap at the door. Oh, here we go. There we are. So the trains are moving, oh. endless supply of uh, ghost trains. The other thing was that the original tape that used to play uh, all the time when you got on the ride was, was salvaged and I've relocated a speaker up in here where the, uh, the ghost is uh, changing the points. And um, so you can hear the original ghost train tape that used to play for, for, since 1936. Year after year after year, kids would know this, this same tape, which you can hear now. Yes, there are lots of ghosts in here. You'll shiver and quake, and the ghost train. <laughs> but as is the nature with um, these amusement parks, people like to go on rides that take them to close to a um, disaster. and. Um, uh, there, were, there was a terrible um, tragedy that occurred in the ghost train <coughs> with this ride. There were always about three people operating it and two were outside putting people on trains and inside there was always someone patrolling, always inside. That night the person who patrolled inside wasn't there. So this is like an aeroplane crash or something, one little thing goes wrong and then a whole lot of things go wrong. Uh, there was trouble with the lease with the government and, and so the, the management wouldn't spend the money on it. All these, these very tragic things came to, to a head and the, the ghost train paid the price with the loss of uh, those children's lives and, and the dad. And um, it, was, it was really the end of Lo old Luna Park as we knew it and it was let down by, um, it wasn't the ghost train's fault it, of course, it was let down by all these other things that happened that night and um, so we've never dwelt on the, the ghost train uh, much because of the tragedy of it but uh, I would have liked to have seen the ghost train come back and um, and prove that it wasn't the ghost train's fault what happened but it, but it was pretty awful pretty bad. 
I've made uh, artworks of other rides at Lunar Park, the river caves and things like that, and I was sort of working my way through the old Lunar Park. I, I miss the old Lunar Park. It was um, really something special. And it was a, a just um, inevitable I'd get round to the ghost train. And uh, so I've finally done it, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it.